Is this mostly of you and you have to take your progress photos for your coach? This is how I want my progress photos taken. I know no one likes it, so you come out hiding. Or you're wearing this big old huge sheet you don't want anybody to see. But if you're very serious about making your progress, then there's nothing better than looking back at your old progress photos and seeing how far you came. I didn't like it when I first started, but there was definitely nothing better than going back, seeing how far I come, especially when I didn't necessarily feel like I was making that much progress. So here's how I want my photos taken. And maybe for those of you watching this and you have another coach, maybe they want their photos taken every week, every month, whatever it is, here's an easy way that you can do it. Now, right now I have my son holding the camera and recording it. But instead of taking pictures and trying to just put them, put the timer on and hurry up and beat the timer and go back, I did that probably for about eight months, if not closer to a year before I was like, oh, I can do it this easier way. Another thing I see people do, they try to hold the phone and go in the mirror and take pictures. I see folks flexing in pictures. You don't want to do any of that. Here's an easy way. First, put the phone down on something stable. When you have it where it's all set, of course, you're going to be in front of the camera. And instead of going in picture mode, go in video mode. So while you're in video mode, start it. And when you start the video, go ahead, just stand straight up in front. And you want to do this first thing in the morning, generally. You don't want the water. I mean, it's later in the day. It's actually the evening for me. But you want to be there first thing in the morning after you've taken a leap. And then hold your first position. You don't want to move too fast. The last thing you want to do is this, like a robot. You want to hold it, and you'll see why in a moment. And then you're going to turn to the side. I like to always move my arm back. That's something I've always done. That way my coach can see everything over here. You don't want to flex. You don't want to do any of this. You can, but this is not for your progress photos. You want to be as relaxed as possible, but you also want to have a distended gut. Just go ahead and stand just as you normally would. Get your back in there. I like to get both sides just for symmetry purposes. And then you can go right back to the front. Now, as far as clothing goes, you want to have something revealing. You do not want again to have this big old huge sheet, your largest shirt, because you don't want to show any fat that you have. This is the time, it needs to be seen. When you go to doctors, you notice what's, what is it known for? You have a gown with open access in the back. So you want it to be the same way because this is all about helping you. As a coach, I wanna help you. I wanna be able to see what I need to see to say we need to work on these areas. And so you wanna make sure that that coach can see something. So ladies, you wanna be in your sports bra. You may wanna be in some shorts instead of some jogging pants. Yeah, and yes, it may not be the most flattering thing in the world, but that's why you're here to get help. There's nothing worse. Would you go to the mechanic, take your car to shop, get the car washed, vacuum it out, and then go ahead and try to cover up the very noise that you're going to the mechanic for them to fix in the first place? No, you want to make sure that they can see exactly what needs to be fixed so we can get the most help that we need to get. That means, guys, you want to take that shirt off. You want to go ahead and have some shorts, be in your drawers. Now, for the sake of this, and you'll see my picture, of the, I take 90% of my photographs and what I'm going to show you. For now, I just put these on, but normally you want something to be pretty tight. And that way, again, you don't want to have your shorts coming down below your knees, you know, looking like the Fab Five. And so, again, be as comfortable as you can. Take them straight on. Hold them there for a moment. Boom to the side. Go ahead and rotate completely around. Don't worry about flexing, just relax. And then you're going to go back, watch the video. And when you watch the video, you're just gonna take screenshots of the video with your phone. And it's those screenshots and those three or four poses, whatever, for me, my clients know, I want the front on shot, I want the side shot, and I want the rear shot. That's conventional, that's how it is in most apps anyway. That's the shot I want. And you just take screenshots of the video, and you send them right on over. That has been much more efficient than trying to set the counter, trying to run and, oh, that, that picture didn't come out. Oh, I moved too fast, it was blurry. You wanna have good lighting. Again, it's late in the evening. This isn't the best lighting here, but I hope you get the message. So again, for my clients, this is how I want all of my pictures taken. Put them in video mode, 
take screenshots of them, send them over to me. Best to do it each week so you can watch the progression. Again, I know it's not comfortable. I've done this back when I was in the fitness field and was going to, to do this at a corporate place. Although I'm still in the fitness field now, this is, we're talking 20 years ago. And I went and did this for some big executives. And while they may have had 10 Corvettes in their garage and a bunch of Cadillacs, and these were the C-suite people, everyone got real humble. But you tell people to take their shirt off. And all of a sudden, everybody goes back to that junior high and high school day when it was shirts and skins. And people, most folks, don't want to be on the skins team when they're in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s year olds. But if you want to be on the skins team, and if you don't want to worry about taking your shirt off when you're in your 50s, then you know what to do. Get at me below. Go ahead and reach out. I'll be more than happy to help you so you can be on team skin. Otherwise, Again, this is exactly the best way to go ahead and take your progress photos. Your coach will be happy. It'd be much more efficient for you. I'll see y'all next time.